All right, moving on. Voice first generative artificial intelligence company Gyani.ai recently secured an investment of $4 million from InfoEdge Ventures in its Series A round. Now, Gyani.ai offers AI transformation in customer experience with a strong emphasis on deep tech AI innovation. To talk to us about the road ahead, joining me now is Gyani.ai's co founder, Ganesh Gopalan. Ganesh, welcome to Startup Street. You know, artificial intelligence tools are transforming the conversational space. So, tell us how are you leveraging generative AI? AI to improve customer service. Take us through your offerings and the various use cases. Sure. Uh, thanks for having us here, firstly. And uh, so it's been great for us, great journey over several years. Uh, proud to be a product led uh, uh, deep tech startup out of India. Mm. And uh, we're live with about uh, close to 100 customers. Uh, we work with a lot in the BFSI space where we uh, dominate certain sectors. We work across use cases. Uh, starting with your, uh, you know, collections is the biggest use case. You know mm. that NPAs in this in industry are a very big problem, and uh, you know we've done a great job over the last few years working with many customers. So we work with, uh, for example, uh, you know three of the top five banks. We work with uh, the top NBFCs, the you know two of the top four, I would say, uh, buy now uh, pay later companies. We work okay. with top insurance companies, right? So all right. And so picking up from what you just said, you know, you, you also claim that your AI-powered voice automation platform has helped financial institutions collect over $2 billion from their end customers in the last six months. Uh, so, Ganesh, tell us how Gyani's generative AI models handle context and maintain coherence in longer conversations compared to traditional conversational AI. So, first and foremost, the use case, right? So, we yeah. work in what's called this, uh, largely what's called this bucket text use case. Uh, where we nudge customers into payments, supply them with the right ways of payment, make it easy for them to pay. And these are all long conversations that uh, you know our bots have with customers. Reaching the lowest common denominator, these are typically conversations, automated conversations on telephony lines in the local Indian languages, right? And uh, so it's been a great journey starting from uh, you know intent-based bots, and today we offer uh, generative AI bots, uh, voice bots on telephony lines uh, with very low latency. And one of the ways that we make it happen is uh, a lot to do with our deep tech. We have our own patents on what we call this language detection. Hmm. Uh, we have our own small language models yeah. uh, that are tuned towards the, you know, I would say the domain of interest. Okay. Again, you know, you mentioned uh, and you've recently launched that uh, series of voice first AI small language models. What is the initial rollout target and which sectors are you again looking at? And if you could give us a timeline as well. Yeah, so we are starting with, uh, you know, rollouts in the BFSI space. We already launched something for the lending space now. Uh, and we are uh, slowly rolling it out to insurance and some of the other sectors. Uh, we do have something that's getting rolled out for insurance in the next couple of months. Okay. Uh, so over the course of the year, we'll be launching a bunch of these small language models and our uh, real roadmap is to launch a lot of these also on edge hmm. and very excited about this whole space. Okay. You also have over 100 enterprise uh, as customers in India and the US. Uh, you surely manage large volumes of data, Ganesh. So how do you ensure the quality of data sets, data security and privacy? I think first and foremost, uh, we tell customers we don't want to store your data. Mm. Right, I think that's the safest thing to do. Apart from getting all the certifications and making sure the customer's data is safe, the best thing is, hey, we don't want to store your data, right? Uh, we don't want to ideally train with your data unless you, uh, you know, you want us to specifically work for it. And because all the deep tech is ours, we have the ability to uh, deploy all this, you know, on customers' cloud, on our cloud, or sometimes even on premise, which we are doing for some of the largest banks. Okay. Uh, Ganesh, you know, what are the current business growth numbers that you're seeing, the revenues that you're making? And if you could also, after that, give us a sense of the major conversational AI trends we can expect this year. So, first and foremost, uh, you know, we've seen uh, over 3 years growth uh, over the last, uh, I would say, three to four years. Obviously, it all started with the, the days of COVID when, mm. uh, you know, it's very difficult to have physical contact with customers. And this has led to the trend that people are adopting more and more of this automation, right? Yeah. The good part about us is we are also profitable because we, we use our most of the stuff that we use is our own deep tech. And because it's our own deep tech, that gives us pricing power. That also gives us the ability to fine tune our offerings for our end customers. 
right? And uh, we continue to operate in this space at uh, good margins and at, uh, I would say, uh, phenomenal growth. Okay. And the trends, the latest trends that you can take us through? I think we're going to see a lot of new trends. First, first and foremost, for example, uh, as more and more voice bots become prevalent, mm. uh, people start worrying about security, right? So for so we have a, we have a product that's called Voice Biometrics. Huh. Uh, that sits along with our voice bots. So customers can feel safe that, you know, the data is secure and they're talking to the right person. Okay. You know, all these avatars in the future, uh, you know, uh, you know, uh, which are going to really uh, try to change the whole chatbot experience, which hasn't really been growing in the you know multiple markets. Uh, so that's going to be a very big trend uh, going forward. Uh, plus, you're going to have uh, you know uh, people experiencing these bots in many many sectors, both in the offline and the online space. Hmm. And you, you're going to start seeing uh, you know things that we just dreamed about or read about in uh, science fiction novels, but. Uh, Okay. All right. On that note, it's time for me to wrap up our conversation. Uh, Ganesh, wish you the very best for all your growth and expansion plans. And thanks very much for joining us on Startup Street today. Thank you so much. Thank you. On that note,